Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I'll be explaining you the purpose of the lube oil, why we are using it in the engine. Uh, it first of all reduces the friction, removes the heat, third is protects from corrosion, then what happens is flashes away the contaminants. If any contaminants are there, it will flash away. And it dampens the noise. When oil is circulated nicely, the noise in the engine will be less. It also acts as a sealant. So, lubrication classification can be done like hydrodynamic, there is a full fluid film, boundary, there is a thin film, fluid film, then there is a partial fluid film. These are the classifications. So, factors affecting the hydrodynamic lubrication is viscosity. Viscosity of the oil always matters here. When the temperature increases, the viscosity will drop. So, this is very important here. Then, when the speed is there, engine speed, then also it affects the viscosity, the load, then the lubricant flow. So, all these factors affect the hydrodynamic lubrication. So next is desired properties of the lubricant that is the crankcase oil. Eh? So viscosity first is viscosity should be sufficient to form and maintain a full fluid film. It should not be very viscous due to flow requirement for cooling. Second point is load bearing. It should be able to support the static weight of the running gear as well as the fluctuation of the combustion load. Alkalinity is to moderate to neutralize any acidic contaminants of combustion of products. Fourth is the corrosion protection due to moisture condensation and the combustion condensation. So normally when the lube oil is in the engine there will be always a condensation taking place due to air above the engine. So oxygen stability is one important thing. It should prevent oxidations which may lead to the formation of organic acids. Then you have the detergency to counteract any contamination by corrosion of particles such as carbon or sulfur compounds. It should not have an anti, anti foaming is one thing to prevent any anti foaming pressure fluctuation which will affect the full film formation. Then you have the thermal stability that is moderate. Uh, desired properties of lubricants that is liner lubrication oil. Again here what I want to say is viscosity here first high it should be to provide sealing effects between the liner and the ring. ring. Second point is load bearing high it should be high to withstand the extreme pressure exerted by the piston space into the liner wall. Alkalinity should be high to neutralize the acidic environment due to the combustion of products that is with the fuel. Corrosion protection it should be high due to moisture condensation and the combustion contaminants. Then we have the oxygen stability it should be high to prevent oxidation in an oxygen rich environment in the combustion chamber. Then we have the detergency it should be normal to counteract the contamination by corrosive particles such as carbon and sulfur compound. Anti-foam usually not a problem. Thermal stability should be high to maintain the lubricating properties even at prevailing or high temperature in the combustion chamber. Otherwise the oil film can break and cause a problem for the engine. Then you have the desired property of lubricant for the trunk piston engine. Again, you can see alkalinity, detergency, thermal stability, oxygen stability, load bearing, anti-rust, anti-foam, 
moderate viscosity all this you can again you can see it is written here viscosity of that should be moderate for crankcase and liner it should be high these are all described here so person who are joined the ship or learning stage these are very important so you have to write all this point while you writing your exams so loop oil deterioration can happen due to contamination property changes and oxidation so loop oil contamination can happen due to wear of the particles from the moving engine incomplete combustion acidic water sea water dust or dirt so loop oil property changes due to breaking down at high temperature to form sticky material causing ring to stick to the piston ring will stick if you have carbonous material then you have the loop oil oxidation this is very important oxidation will happen to form organic acid with high and low boiling point so low boiling point will have the volatile acid and highly corrosive for high boiling point we have gum and lacquer so normally you see this lacquer on the uh, piston if the temperature is too high you can see lacquer increase in viscosity then loop oil treatment normally we do we collect the dirty oil in one of the tank for gravitational su separation then remove dissolved or heavier particles then you have the centrifuge you run the purifier clarifier for purifying it water washing and a bypass or batch purification normally you have filter to stop the contaminant and absorb the uh, contaminant in that so finally we will have how to maintain is care and maintenance regular analysis good engine maintenance regular purification maintain filter condition change oil if required so if you have any problem regarding the loop oil please let me know thank you very much